Hey everyone, this is Ross, and in today's video, we're in the greenhouse, and we're gonna be looking once again at pinching. I wanna show you guys some examples. Now that we're two weeks later after we've pinched a lot of my fig trees, I wanna show you guys the results, and I also wanna show you guys what happens if you don't pay attention to these dots right here along the branch, right above where the leaf stem connects to the main branch is dots. These are buds. These are dormant buds along the branch the cell tissues have to already be there. So that's why when we pinch, we're not creating fruit out of thin air. The fruit has to already exist along the branch. So that's why if you only see one dot, you're only gonna get a new branch at this location. Now, but if you see two, one of them is gonna be a branch and one of them is gonna be a fruit. Now this tree in particular, we pinched this thing just to show you guys what that would look like after pinching it. So we pinched it up top here, and because it only had one dot all along the main stem, there is no fruit. And it really is a bit of a shame because this particular tree in general is just not behaving this year. It wants to grow and grow and grow and not fruit. So it's very difficult with certain varieties. I would suggest slowing down their vigor slowing down the nitrogen and you're gonna get those fruit buds to appear along that new growth. And you can see after we pinch, now is a new branch forming um, right where the old one was. So, and a lot of you guys had also asked me, is this a good idea to pinch to then, you know, shape your tree better? And the short answer is yes, you could do that, but I don't think that's really a great idea. And I could go into a lot of detail on that, but I would personally wait until the dormancy process take off the apical buds there during the dormancy process when this wood is hardened up and the leaves have fallen and then make your cuts and then from the the following year it'll branch out and you can select the branches that you want you know you don't have to be doing this right now you don't have to be forming the tree shape right now now i do want to show you guys some fruits that have formed after pinching but I actually wanna show you guys some fruits that have formed just on their own. So because we're in the greenhouse here, you can see the growth tip is still intact and there's fruits all up and down these branches. Same thing over here. Um, same thing on this branch right here. And this is a normal practice of, again, what would happen in California. But for me, let's take a great example, even if you were in California, because some of you guys, or even in Arizona, just a warm place, some of you guys were thinking well, this doesn't apply to me because I live in blank, right? But the point is, is that even if you had a late variety, let's say like Black Madeira, this is undeniably one of the tastiest fig varieties in existence. It takes a really long season to get a full crop of fruit off of this Black Madeira, off of this variety in particular. So for me to do this here in Pennsylvania, I certainly have to be pinching, but also in you guys in California, you may want to think about doing this too because you need roughly about 180 to 200 days of growing days to get this thing to fruit. I had woken this tree up March 15th. That's 45 days before my last frost just so I could pinch it sometime around May 15th, June 1st to get this thing to fruit. Then probably by September 1st or September 15th and the crop will not finish probably until well into November. So I have to then bring it in here because November 1st is indeed our first frost and I have to bring it in the greenhouse to get those remaining fruits to ripen. So yeah, um, you know, you're gonna get fruits probably sometime for me as an example, doing it like this in September, but if you want all the fruits, earlier is better. And also we talked about in that first video, not only are earlier fruits better because you get them at an earlier time, but also the quality at that time of the year in your, whatever location you're at, let's say it's warmer and it's also drier at that particular time of the year, that's what you wanna be focusing on is getting these fruits to form then. Now let's look at some examples of what pinching has looked like um, and then formed those fruits. So here's a tip right here, even though we are in the greenhouse, we do have to pinch. It's not always guaranteed just because we are in the greenhouse, just because we are waking these guys up and they are in a warm environment. We do have to indeed pinch. And you can see over here, this is my Cavalieri tree, an Italian variety with the tip missing right here. And all these little fruits now forming along the branches. Here is again, another variety down here. And you can see 
the tip is missing. It's forming a new branch as we speak. And this was only done about two weeks ago and you can see small figs forming right here. Same thing with this variety over here. The tip is missing. You can see the fruits forming behind it and also all the way down the branch the fruits have already begun to form. And roughly about 90 to 120 days from this point, we will have ripe fruits. So that is the video today, guys. I really wanted to clarify some points I made in the prior video on pinching. If you really like this one, give this one a thumbs up. Please share it too, because for those of you guys who have been interested in figs have really shown a liking to this particular technique. It really does work and it really will change the way you grow figs. So. Share this one, also subscribe, and I'll talk to you all tomorrow for all more videos on figs. So take care, guys. Talk to you soon.